So apparently, Ken does not agree with the arguments I made in my last video called Steinmetz Not Wrong. He's stuck in this whole, there are no straight lines in nature kick, but there's something he doesn't realize. The argument that Ken was making in his video was that the image on the left is incorrect and the image on the right is correct. The problem I'm having with this statement is that the image on the left has nothing to do with the image on the right. They cannot be compared. This is why they don't look the same. For example, the image on the right might be the ferrocell image of the North Pole. This is what the North Pole would look like under the ferrocell. But the image on the left does not correspond to a magnetic pole at all. It's not a pole. But I did make a mistake in my last video, which is why I'm making this video. I just want to show that I'm not afraid to say that I made a mistake. Um, this was pointed out to me by one of my viewers, and so I gave it a lot of thought. I did a bit of digging, and I realized that I made a mistake. So, the problem has to do with this slide. In this slide, on the right, is a depiction of the current generated by a magnetic field. Not a magnetic field generated by a current. So technically, this picture is not correct. The north and south poles in the image on the left don't point in this way. Now this doesn't change my stance on the correctness of the Steinmetz image. It actually makes it more clear. Here is the picture that I should have used. This is, in reality, what is going on with a single wire. When you send the current down a wire, the magnetic lines of pressure surround the wire. When you take a compass and move it around the wire, you will find that the compass changes direction as you go around the wire, as you can see on the right. Compasses are just tiny magnets, which themselves have north and south poles. These tiny magnets line up with the mag mag magnetic lines of pressure. On the left, I mapped some of the compass needles onto the image so you can see what's going on. This image, which appeared in Steinmetz's book, is the correct depiction of the field around a single wire with current flowing through it. In other words, far, far away from all other wires, this is what the field would look like. Magnetic lines of pressure would look circular and the radial lines of tension would look straight. Far, far away from all other, other wires, let me say that again, far, far away from all other wires, the lines of pressure look circular and the lines of tension look straight. So the picture on the left is right and this picture is wrong. My mistake. I'm not afraid to admit when I make a mistake. But Ken Wheeler insists that the Steinmet image is wrong because there are no straight lines in nature. First of all, just because the lines look straight in this image doesn't mean that they are straight. We are only seeing a line segment here and not the whole line. Far, far away from all other wires, these lines would appear very, very straight. This depiction of the field surrounding a single wire with current flowing through it is accurate and it is correct. The other problem I have with Ken's statement is that he's assuming that these two images correspond to the same thing, and they don't. As you can see, the image on the left, the north-south poles of the compass needle, are in the plane of the image. The north and south poles of the magnet in the image on the right are into the page and out of the page. So, without a doubt, these two images cannot be compared. They are not meant to represent the same thing. So the whole discourse on the Steinmetz image being incorrect is basically ill-conceived.
Using the Steinmetz image and the little compass needles, we can now get a better understanding of why wires attract and repel, and indirectly why magnets attract and repel. Here is an image of two wires with the current going in the same direction. The image on the right is a replication of the image on the left. As you can see from this image, the compass needles between the two wires are in opposition. This is why wires attract when the current is going in the same direction. When you bring two magnets together in this configuration, they will attract. When the current is going in opposite directions, then the tiny magnets between the wires are aligned as shown in this image. This is why the wires repel when the current is going in opposite directions. When you bring two magnets together in this configuration, they will repel. Of course, the lines of tension will connect and the lines of pressure will bend and you will end up with the field geometry that looks like this. This, I believe, is what Ken means when he says there are no straight lines in nature. He is talking about this geometry. In reality, there are no completely isolated wires in nature. This is another way of saying that there are no isolated charges in nature. There are always another charge or always another wire somewhere in the universe to curve the straight line. We have to understand the field modality around one wire before you can understand the field modality around two wires, which is what Ken is talking about when he talks about the secrets of magnetism. In the domain of magnetism, there are no straight lines. Ken, if this is what you mean, then I agree 100%. In short, this image does not correspond to this image. They are not the same thing and therefore cannot be compared.